Hey, what is up guys? For this video, I thought it would be a great idea to take a look at two other cases that might be great alternatives for Apple's smart battery case. So if the $130 price tag from the smart battery case is too much for your blood, I do understand. And I just want to review some other options. So on my left side right here, I have the Zero Lemon case. And this was actually one of the first battery pack cases that I bought a year and a half ago. Now the reason why I went ahead and went with this one is because this one's actually engineered a little bit different. Technically, this is a battery bank. As you can see, we can simply pull out the battery and we can actually plug this into a USB-C and charge another phone. So for whatever said reason, this little adapter fails like some third party battery cases normally do. You can just simply unplug it and just use cables. And I thought the concept was really interesting. Throughout the months I have owned this case, it has been serving me really well and it's one of the highest capacity battery cases out there. Now, since this is an 8000 mAh battery, I'm able to get up to 2.5 full charge cycles. Now of course your results might be different because weather conditions could also have an effect and also the usage of your phone, but that's how much I'm able to get out of this case that I seem to be always averaging. The only thing I don't really like about this, if you allow your phone to go below 20% and you turn on this case your phone and the case itself will get really hot not uncomfortably hot but noticeably hot so i would recommend turning this case on when you notice your phone is at 40 percent and turn it off once it hits 100. now i have done a review on this case so i go more in depth on its details but to the most part there is a usb-c adapter down here that allows you to synchronize and back up your files or even plug it into your car's audio system just fine as if it was a regular lightning cable and that's the reason why i really like this case and it does offer lip protection around the screen. In the case itself, the material is used is really flexible and feels nice to grip. Now, I wouldn't really say this is a shock absorbing case, but I have dropped it and it survived pretty well. The only downside to this, there is no protection inside here really. It's really hard, so I highly recommend just using this case when you know you're not gonna have access to a power outlet to charge your phone for a while. And you can find this case retailing for around $50. The only con I have against this case is it's really tall and it's really heavy. Now this next case I want to go ahead and look at is called, it's by Eze. I hope I'm pronouncing that, it's just really weird. They went ahead and shipped out this case. Now the reason why this case is actually interesting is because this one actually has a 5000 mAh battery and it charges your phone by wireless charging. As you can see down here, there's literally no connection to our phone. The benefit to this is that similar to like the smart case where it has no shin down here, they're able to achieve the same body design. But when you place your phone in, there's no protection here where your back glass of your phone rests. So it's a lot more easier or prone to get scratches from dust particles or other debris that might make it inside here. And once your phone is placed in, there's little to no lip protection around the screen. So if you place it on a flat surface, it's most likely you're going to make contact with your screen. So you need a screen protector, which they do provide. But I'm not a huge fan of this design. But the buttons are fully responsive and the vibrate switch is nice and exposed for some very easy access. But although this case does give you an overall tank-like design, it's not really shock absorbent. As the materials back here, it's like this hard plastic that I feel over time could easily crack or break if you just abuse the case. And the plastic piece that goes around here, it's not really very well, it's not really shock absorbent. Now, although the outline of the camera does look a little bit odd, but I think this actually could be an advantage. There's no camera interference when it comes to taking photos or video, but when you're taking photos in direct sunlight, this design should act like a camera hood to prevent any glare from interference with your photos. So the way you power this case on is by a single button that's back here that has one LED light that will illuminate green to amber. When it's amber, it means it's anywhere from 50 to 0% battery life. And then when it's green, it means it's 50 or 100% battery life. And that doesn't really give you an exact percentage like how the Zero Lemon does. The Zero Lemon has four LED lights back here to indicate a closer accurate percentage. But like any standard battery case, you just simply hold it for a few seconds and then it will begin to charge your phone. Now this case doesn't stop automatically as soon as your phone hits 100%. So you have to manually remember to turn this thing off. And if you're charging this, when it's below 30%, it's gonna take a long time to go charge it back up to 100. Since it's wireless, it's gonna charge at a really slow rate. 
but in some strange ways i think this case was really thought out because you could charge this case back up by either wireless charging it and there's also a USB-C port up here on top of the phone where it should be so you're able to operate this phone while it's charging at the same time so on the bottom here this allows us to still have access to our lightning port adapter so if you plug this into your vehicle's stereo system it'll work just fine and as you can also see we have openings for both the microphone and the speaker grill so it should support the iPhone 10 and the 10s now taking a look at the smart case what separates this case from those two is on average I'm able to get one full day under a single charge from the case and my phone included and a thing that you have to take in consideration when using the Apple smart battery case is that you don't lose any of the functionality and features of the iPhone the only thing you really lose is the water resistant rating but why would you want to take a battery case underwater then again OtterBox did have that one case that didn't really sell well sadly but you don't lose the wireless charging functionality and you still use that same exact lightning port to synchronize or charge the device. This case, honestly, during the weeks that I own this, it's more like one of the cases that you just set it and forget it. The case literally becomes one with the phone. The case will automatically manage and communicates with the phone to allow it to give it the best current possible, allow both devices, both batteries to be healthy, and this also reduces the heat. An issue that I faced with the other cases that they tend to get really hot because you only turn these on when they're below 20%. That's usually the only time that the average user will turn it on. But when that happens, that excess heat that you feel, that's just energy being wasted because it requires a little bit more juice to fully charge the phone back up to 100%. It's what I found out online. That's the cause of that heat that we all experience. Now with the smart battery case, since it has proper communication, it's able to know, I believe it's able to know the appropriate current to allow the case to still charge, but also maintain a really cool temperature to give it the best longevity of these batteries. Now, since this case is the only one that actually is iOS integrated, you're actually able to see the exact percentage to give you an idea how much juice you have left on your battery case. And I honestly prefer this because I'm able to prepare ahead if I'm going to a trip. I could just easily fast charge this thing. So calling this thing a smart battery case isn't just a marketing scheme. This thing actually does have some technology inside here. For instance, this is the only case that actually does support fast charging, which means you could char fast charge either the battery case itself or your iPhone as well. And if you have one of these 87 watt power adapters, it will actually charge both of the phone and the case at the same time. But if you ever find yourself having to use a standard a wall outlet or an 18 watt power adapter, it will fast charge the phone or regularly charge the phone, but it will favor the phone first and then it will begin to charge the case. This is one of the few things that separates this case from other competitors and why Apple is the only one that's actually doing this. And when you have this phone unplugged, the case will always favor the phone, making sure the case drains all its battery first and then allows the phone to drain its battery. This allows the current to constantly be moving to prevent any health issues from happening to your battery. So for better longevity, this case will keep your phone cooler. Sorry about that. And the materials used on this case aren't that bad. It is made out of silicone, which some people love and some people hate. I like it. I don't wear too tight jeans. So placing this in and out of my pocket is as easy as one, two, and three. Although as many people have pointed out, and I have too in my past video, this thing is a lint collector, but it isn't that bad. You can simply just wipe it off. And being Apple, the buttons are fully responsive, vibrate switch is easy to access, and there's also multiple ways to charge this thing, as the internals pretty much will monitor everything. You can have this case plugging in by itself, or you can have this case dropped on a wireless Qi charger, as there's a little LED light right here that will indicate and let you know when it's 100% full or you can have it plugged into your phone as well as plug it into a lightning cable and have it on a Qi charger. The whole case will monitor everything. And since this is iOS integrated, you can actually see the exact percentage that the battery case is currently at. So overall, your needs might be different, but I'm a power hungry user. And at the end of the day, the only time I have access to charge my device is at either inside a car or at night when I'm about to go to sleep. In this case, for my experience, it's a lot more easy to daily with, easier to travel, since it's the lightest and the slimmest of the three, and does offer better protection. The silicone just absorbs everything really well. But this case is only guaranteed one full charge. While these two are more than capable of charging your device at least two or more times. 
but that's going to be it for this video hope this video comparison was helpful and useful if it was be sure to leave this video a big thumbs up as that on lets me know but that also strongly helps support the channel and i really do hope my real world stories on how i use these cases could help you out to help you find out on what case is more appropriate for you to get for your iphone now all these cases that you saw in this video will be linked in the description down below for you guys so you guys could easily find it and real quick the phone that i was using in these videos is the iphone 10 but these should also support the iPhone XS, especially the smart battery case. And if you're wondering if the smart battery case does support the iPhone X, check out this video as I go in more specs into more detail on if it does or not. And what are the disadvantage? But once again, thank you guys for watching. If you like this kind of tech videos, like what I'm doing, make sure to support the channel by giving this video a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel. But until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.